Hi, my name is Ashish. This is step 13 for migration to SQL databases to Azure. So, in the in this video, we are performing the migration cutover. Since we have done the online, sorry, the offline data migration, the migration wizard continuously monitors the SMB network share for newly added log backup files. So, if you would have done the online mic data migration, like in my case, I have deployed the below skew size SQL management since I was not able to do online but if you would have done online the migration wizard continuously monitors the SMB network share for newly added log backup files. Online migration enables any updates on the source database to be captured until you initiate the cutover to the SQL MI. So if now let me jog on to the portal and take it from there. If you would come and see that is okay, completed is one, login is also done. So if you would you know click on it. It says database migration error. Fail to set user mapping for login user. One or more errors occurred. Cannot remap user to login user. Because the login is already mapped to a user in the database. I created the same database user. So, you know, if I connect here and do test user, test user. Change it, execute it. It's not adding. So, if this username would have been different. Then I would have, you know, able to perform the final cutover. When the transactions so in case of the offline migration, I'm getting this error. So I, you know, this was the lab, but in case you would go here and you know you would delete the migration because the migration was not successful maybe i missed this is the project you can create new activity again right same way you everything would be there again okay this is how you do it again but if you do for the cutover in case of online data migration so when you go to the azure portal on your uh, database you would see that the log shipping would be in the progress like i was saying uh, completed or failed you would say log shipping would be process. So, if you would add a new query or an add a record to your uh, database during the migration, and if you would come return to the migration page in the Azure portal, you should see that one of the logs, you know, the transaction that you have done should be in queued and then it would be completed, then it will be restored and after verifying the transaction log status during the online database migration, you start the cutover and you then you complete the cutover. And then it says, okay, the transaction has been completed or the database has been successfully migrated to 
the world to the Azure SQL MI. Okay, then there are different tasks wherein you have to verify the database and uh, transaction log migration. And then you have to update the web application to use the new SQL MI database. How do you do it? You update the connection strings. Right. So rather than in the connection string, wherein uh, you would have that. You know the address of SQL on prem, you would add the address of SQL MI. Then you have to update the app settings as well, so on and so forth. So, in, in my case, I was not able to, you know, use the web app here because my migration didn't went well but you got the idea how you configure different things check it step by step of what needs to be done okay if you still have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video maybe i'll come up with a new series okay thank you